right guys, this is just an introduction to the ideas of ratio and proportion. Without these two, we won't be able to do metric geometry. So what does ratio mean? Well, this statement says, if AP to PB equals 2 to 5, what does that mean? That means AP is 2 parts to PB's 5 parts. Now, what, what are you doing here? What you're basically doing is comparing two lengths. So therefore, the lengths could be any distances as long as they simplify to a ratio of 2 to 5. So it doesn't mean that the lengths have to be 2 centimeters to 5 centimeters. They could be. But the lengths could be 4 centimeters to 10 centimeters or 8 centimeters to 20. Both of those simplify to, to every 2 centimeters that AP has, PB has 5 centimeters. Now there's different ways to write ratios. We can write them as a ratio with a semicolon, but the most preferred ratio for us to write them as is a fraction. Now the reason why we prefer fractions is we know how to work with fractions, which is why we like them. So let's have a look at this question. If P divides AB in a ratio to 3 over 2, so I've drawn a random line AB, and I've thrown in a point P. Now this isn't drawn to scale, but I'm going to label the fact that AP is 3 parts, to PB's two parts, and simply because they told me the ratio was 3 to 2. Now this doesn't mean that it's 3 centimeters and 2 centimeters. It could be any multiple thereof. It simply means that AP will be 3x and PB will be 2x. So often when we use ratios in the metric geometry, we don't write 3 and 2, we write 3x and 2x, simply to show that we know that this isn't 3 centimeters and 2 centimeters. It's simply a comparison. Now let's have a look at these questions. It says find the following ratios. It says, what is AP compared to AB? Now if I have a look at this, AP is three parts, and AB will be five parts in total. So this ratio is three parts to five parts. Now you can put in the x's, so you could say 3x to 5x, but then the x's will just cancel, so you can leave them out. So this is three parts to five parts. Next question says AB, which we've already noticed is five parts to PB, which we know is two parts. So this ratio is five parts to two parts. Again, you could have written 5x over 2x, but the x's would have cancelled. Now both of those are ratios in simplest form, which is how you should always leave ratios. Let's have a look at a second example. Line segment AB is divided by point P in the ratio of 5 to 2. So I'm going to randomly put in P, and I'm going to divide it five parts to two parts. Now this time it's a bit different because they've told us that AB is 112 units and they want us to find the length of AP. So we're going to need to compare AP and AB simply because that's what they want and what they've given us. So what is AP compared to AB? Now notice I've put what I want to find at the top of a fraction simply because I find it easier to work out something that's at the top of a fraction. So what is AP to PB? Well, AP is 5 parts, sorry, to AB. AB is 7 parts. So this ratio has to simplify to 5 to 7. Now this doesn't mean it's 5 centimeters to 7 centimeters. In fact, I know it's not 7 centimeters because they've told me that AB is 112 units. Which means when I simplify AP over 112, it must simplify to 5 over 7. So this is like an equivalent fraction. What do I have to do to 7 to get 112? Well, I have to multiply by 16, which means I'm going to have to multiply 5 by 16 if I want this fraction to simplify to 5 over 7, which means that AP is 5 times 16, which is 80 units. Now, this, only, this equivalent fraction way of doing things only really works out nicely if you've got whole numbers. Sometimes you don't have whole numbers, so there is an easier way to do this. An easier way to do this is to take your original ratio and to substitute in what you know. You know that AB is 112. So I'm going to now write 100, I'm going to write AP over 112 must be equal to 5 over 7. Now what's quite nice here is this is just an equation. How do I get rid of dividing by 112? Well, I multiply by 112 on both sides. They cancel, leaving AP by itself. And if you pick up a calculator and do the right-hand side, you still get 80 units. So it's much easier to build an equation, which is what we're going to do from now on. So let's look at number three. 
P is the midpoint of line segment DE. So there's DE, and I've put P in the middle. Now this means that DP is one part, and PE must be one part, because they must be equal. So this is pretty simple. So what's the ratio of DP to PE? Well, 1 to 1, which is 1. What's the ratio of DP to DE? Well, that's one part to two parts. And DE to EP, two parts to one part, which will simplify to 2. So that was a pretty easy example. Number 4 says, the length of PQ is 126 millimeters. It's divided by R in a ratio of 7 to 2. So if I draw PQ and I randomly put in R, such that it's 7 parts to 2 parts, the question is, calculate the length of PR, and they've given me PQ. So I'm going to use a ratio of PR and PQ. I'm going to put PR on the top, since that's what I want. Now where's PR in the question? PR is 7 parts. And PQ is 9 parts. So that's what this ratio must simplify to. Now what do I know? I know the length of PQ is 126. So I'm simply going to go and substitute in what I know to form an equation. Then I'm going to multiply by 126 on both sides. Cancel my 126. Pick up a calculator and work out my right hand side. So I get PR is 98 millimeters. Last question. Number 5 says... P divides AB in the ratio of 9 to 4. If AP is 45 millimeters, calculate the length of AB. Well, there's AB. P divides it in the ratio of 9 parts to 4 parts. They have given me AP and they want AB. So it would make sense to look at AB over AP. Again, having what you want to know at the top makes it easier. Now, AB will be 13 parts and AP is 9 parts. So I'm now going to substitute in what I know. I know that AP is 45 millimeters, and when I simplify, I must get 13 over 9. So now this is an equation. I'm going to multiply by 45 on both sides. They're going to cancel, and I'm going to pick up my calculator and do 13 over 9 times 45, which gives me an answer of 65 millimeters. Now you can always check if you're right, because first of all, AB must be longer than AP. So if you get a number that's smaller, obviously you're wrong. And the second way to check that you're right is to substitute in. Take AB's length, 65, and divide by AP's length, which is 45, and your calculator should simplify that to 13 over 9. If it doesn't, then you know it's wrong. Okay, the last idea is what is proportion? Proportion is if two ratios are equal, we say they're in proportion. So either if two fractions are equal, or if you write the ratio with the colon, if they're equal, we say they're in proportion. So let me give you an example of where we're going. If we draw a triangle and there's a line that divides the two sides into two parts. Now let's pretend the one side was 2 centimeters and 4 centimeters, and the other side was divided into 3 centimeters and 6 centimeters. If you compare these parts, 2 centimeters compared to 4 centimeters is exactly the same thing as 3 centimeters compared to 6 centimeters because both of those will simplify to a ratio of 1 to 2, or a half. Now in this case, the lengths aren't equal, but we say the sides are divided in proportion with one another. So both these ideas of ratio and proportion will now help you, and you can move on to theorem 1 and 2.